the U.S. behind killing of Russian generals. Popular Ukrainian Zelensky critic arrested in Spain. EU calls for confiscation of frozen Russian assets. China tests sanctions scenario. Washington provided Kiev with intelligence on the location of high-ranking Russian offices, the newspaper New York Times has claimed. The US has assisted Kiev's forces in killing Russian generals by sharing intelligence on their location inside Ukraine, the New York Times reported on Thursday, citing senior American officials. Washington reportedly provided Kiev with information on Russia's mobile military headquarters, which are said to relocate frequently in the conflict zone. Kiev then combined this data with its own intelligence to carry out artillery strikes or other attacks that led to the deaths of commanding officers, sources told the paper. The US officials, who spoke on condition of anonymity, declined to specify how many Russian generals exactly were killed with American help. They also didn't reveal the methods used by Washington to acquire data on Russian command headquarters over concerns that it could hamper further intelligence gathering. The NYT pointed out that throughout the conflict between Moscow and Kiev, U.S. agencies have relied on a variety of sources, including classified and commercial satellites, to trace the movement of Russian troops. Kiev accuses the exiled opposition figure of treason. Prominent blogger and critic of the Ukrainian government, Anatoly Shari, has been detained by Spanish police as part of an international operation, the Ukrainian Security Service SBU, announced on Thursday. Cherie was arrested on Wednesday in a joint operation by Spanish and Ukrainian cops, as well as international partners, the SBU said in a statement. The agency, Kiev's successor to the Soviet KGB, said that the opposition figure is wanted on charges of treason by Kiev, among other things. Cherie has been infringing Ukraine's national security through his activities in the media realm, while allegedly acting on behalf of foreign forces, it insisted. The case against the YouTuber with almost 3 million subscribers was launched in February 2021. Cherie's arrest is more proof that every traitor of Ukraine will sooner or later receive his well-deserved punishment. It is inevitable, the Ukrainian security service claimed. Sanctioned assets should be used to rebuild Ukraine, the European Council president says. Russian assets that have been frozen in the EU as part of sanctions against Moscow over the conflict with Kiev should be seized and allocated for the reconstruction of Ukraine, European Council President Charles Mitchell said on Thursday. I'm absolutely convinced that this is extremely important not only to freeze assets, but also to make it possible to confiscate them, to make them available for rebuilding the country. I'm personally convinced, Mitchell insisted in an interview with Interfax Ukraine news agency. He revealed that he had already told the council's legal service to come up with some possible ideas in order to find a legal solution in line with the principles of the rule of law, that would facilitate and make possible the confiscation of the assets of the people who are sanctioned by the EU or by other countries in the world. Acting in such a manner should be a question of fairness, a question of justice, for Brussels, he added. However, Mitchell acknowledged that implementing his plan on a legal level is not so simple. There are 27 legal systems across the EU and, in many EU member states, this needs a decision taken by a court in order to make it possible. It takes time, it's a difficult and long process, he explained. In short, the EU understands that the confiscation of Russian assets is illegal, but will work in a way to make it legal. Beijing wants to gauge the impact of Russia-style Western pressure on its economy. The Chinese government has ordered a comprehensive stress test to see how the country would handle sanctions like the ones imposed by the West on Russia, the UK's Guardian newspaper reported Wednesday, citing sources. An unnamed person with direct knowledge of the matter told the paper that an extensive exercise began around late February and early March when Western allies imposed sweeping sanctions against Moscow. The source said that several key Chinese government agencies had been asked to come up with responses if the West imposed similar embargoes on China. Those involved in this exercise use how Russia was treated as a baseline for China's own policy response should it be treated in the same fashion by the West, the source explained, adding, this stress test involves a range of methodology, including modeling. If you get some value out of this video, please consider helping us. Give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when new content is released.